do this. Time to feed these hungry gamers. Let's do this again. Now we get it. Let, let, let's do this. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What's up, gamers? Look, we got an external uh, enclosure. External uh, enclosure. That's for GPUs. But it comes with external SSD support. <laughs> Listen to this. It says your external GPU enclosure with M.2 SSD support debuted on Indigo. The One X GPU comes with a RX 7600M XT and Bose Oculink Plus USB 4 connectivity. It says your uh, uh, One Netbook, a company known for their One X Player line of handheld PCs, has debuted a portable external GPU with an, with an included M.2 slot. Debuted the One X GPU. The One X GPU is not yet available for purchase, but you can follow the Indigo page which I will leave that link in the description box say for further updates so that you will be alerted when it does go live for order the manufacturer is relatively no uh, quality so at least there's some assurance that the final product will eventually begin shipping it says that internally the 1x GPU provides graphics powered by a Radeon RX 7600M XT GPU this is the same GPU used by the GP the one e gpu which starts at 655 usd without the inclusion of the m.2 support that means that the one x gpu will likely be priced similarly or may even cost more than the gpd uh, g1 since it offer an extra feature offer a uh, feature over the competition and then it shows a uh, one oculink port one type c port one hdmi 2 port uh, no, wait, 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 two HDMI, two ports, two, two USB ports, two DP ports, and one LAN port. It says here, besides the moderately power eGPU uh, uh, inside, the RX 7600M, <coughs> excuse me, XT has been f uh, favorably compared to the RTX 4060 laptop GPU in 3D Mark. The One X Player GPU also enjoys an assortment of I.O. The I.O. includes an Ethernet port, two each for HDMI display, uh, display port connectors, two Type-A USB ports, and one USB-C port, and finally one Oculink port. Remember remember the Oculink, uh, Oculink you had where you, you can connect an external GPU? But this time, this I enclosure has an Oculink port. <laughs> So that means you probably that means you could probably have a have two two external GPUs, one for the Oculink port and then one inside the enclosure. Just saying. Anyway, says here you'll be connecting the eGPU and M.2 SSD with earlier with either the Oculink port or the Type C port, which uses USB 4, 40 gigabytes per second configuration, similar to Thunderbolt 3. Oculink is actually even better, though with the support for up to 63 gigabytes per second bandwidth, it says this might be Oculink the ideal choice for using the One X GPU, especially if you're hoping to install an M.2 drive for use with the, the with the dev device. However, you should also know that M.2 drive in inside the One X GPU are going to be restricted to PCIe 2.0 speed. No, they need they need to change that. It says here, which is only about two gigabytes per second with the standard four lane allocated to M.2 drives. Then it says here, how will the external GPU work when running game running a game off the included storage? Considering Allen Way 2 can push beyond two gigabytes per second, it says the one X GPU may not be sufficient for the heaviest workload. Though we suspect the GPU in and others aspects will be far bigger factors than any potential storage bandwidth bottlenecks. And then it says, that's it, at the end of the article. So I will leave that link of the Indigo page in the description box with this article. So basically you got an enclosure. Let me just use this for a minute. If I can use this. You got an, encl you got an, encl you got an enclosure, right? It comes with, uh, let's see here, 
All right, comes with an SS, SSD storage, SSD support, but then you have an Oculink port, which means that you can, with the Oculink port, you can add a, another external GPU to that, to the Oculink, and then connect it to the enclosure. But then you have a, a GPU inside the enclosure. Then you have two HDMI ports, two USB uh, uh, ports, two DP ports, one LAN port, and one uh, uh, USB-C, one Type-C uh, port, plus the Oculink port. Yeah. So basically, if, if you got a desktop, you'll be running two GPUs externally. You'll be running two GPUs externally because you got the Oculink port, right? You can connect an external GPU to the Oculink. Then connect it to the enclosure, but inside the enclosure now you have another GPU running, and then you have the uh, SSD support on top of that, and then you have one Oculink port, one Type C port, two HDMI ports, two USB ports, two DP uh, uh, DP ports, and one LAN. LAN stands for uh, local area network. Uh, CAN is campus area network. Uh, uh, man is metropolitan area network and wide is wide area network just trying to keep you informed but anyway that's what's happening with this uh, device though so you basically you'll be running two GPUs externally based on this picture when you see it so I'll leave the uh, the indigo page and the article in the description box and then go on from there so yeah and that's and that and they should be sending you uh, info about this be, this device and then take it from there but other than that man um uh basically you're just running two gpus now externally one on the oculink and one inside the enclosure and then you got the m.2 ssd support and then yeah and then go on from there so yeah have fun with that man but by the look on this picture looks, looks good man <laughs> looks really nice you can connect that to a laptop desktop and since it supports USB-C that means you can probably connect it to the the Steam Deck a &E One X GPD Logitech Lenovo Oxo Asus ROG stuff like that yeah so yeah <clears throat> get 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 your nickels dimes quarters pennies one dollar bill for this device ready anyway I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy Nice talking to you people again. Chris, those Star Wars and Star Trek fans. Board, Dark Side.